Hey everyone, this video is to show you how to turn your regular Bitmoji into Live or 3D and then remove the background. In order to do that, you're going to need your phone and your laptop, or at least that's how I was able to do it. I'm going to show you how you're going to make it move and how to remove the background and how to insert it into Google Slides. So let's get started. So you're going to need your phone, open up the Snapchat app, then you're going to click on that smiley face on the bottom you're going to click explore and type bitmoji on the top just like i did you need to have again snapchat and bitmoji on your phone so here i am typing bitmoji and then a bunch of moves came up um let's see this one i changed my mind let me look at this one with uh dance there she is dancing let's look at another move uh sweeping isn't she cute okay let's look at another one fainting so there she is she's standing she sees something she gets shocked and then she faints and then she falls on the floor but my favorite one or the one that I want to use today is look at this she's pointing at something so I'm going to press down to record a short video a few seconds then I'm going to click save then it downloads to my photos and go back in my phone open the photos and I got the video now I'm going to airdrop it to my uh, laptop you can email yourself if you are um, not able to airdrop it to your laptop. So now you see it on the screen. I'm going to save it to downloads. So I opened up my downloads and there it is. Now I want to rename it so I don't get it confused with other downloads. Let's just make sure that it's the right one. And yes, it's the correct one. It was a few seconds. Let's put 3D Bitmoji. It makes it easier to find when I'm looking for it. So now that I labeled it, I'm going to remove the background because I want it to be transparent. So I'm going to go on this site called onscreen.com and it comes right up. You're going to upload clip and I'm going to take it right from downloads. I know the name of it. It was named for that reason. So now it's preparing. There it is. It's already transparent. It's so quick and it, it just makes things easier. So anyway, make sure that you click transparent right under this picture. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, you see where it says transparent, make sure you select that. Now that it's done, I'm going to click download and I'm going to select GIF or GIF or whatever you guys call it. So make sure you select that. That's very important. So here it is downloading to my desktop. Again, it's taking forever. But again, make sure you click transparent. So now it's done. And it's going to look like this. It's not going to look like a video when it's downloaded. At least with me, with my laptop, this is how it came out. And I thought I was doing something wrong, but no, this is what it's going to look like. It doesn't move at all. Okay, so let's say now I want to insert this video into Google Slides. Before I do that, I have to insert this video into my Google Drive. So here's the drive. This is the Bitmoji folder and I'm just going to drag it from downloads and you see how it turned blue? That means that it was inserted into this file and there it is. It's on the very top. Okay, great. So now that it's in my Google Drive, it's so easy to embed it into my Google slide. So now I have a slide that I just started and I want to insert my video in it. So I'm going to go on the top where it says insert image, not video, image. And then I'm going to select drive and it's going to pop up right on the side. 
So there she is. I'm just going again, drag her to the room. And you could just so you can make her bigger, smaller, look right, look left, whatever you want. I don't like this blue box, so I double clicked till I got a black frame. And now I am, oops, instead of dragging the black frame, I dragged the blue frame. So I'm just going to crop this picture. So it's just around it. I don't need that big blue box. It makes things hard to move around and to adjust the size. So here I am trying to adjust it. Good, that looks good. So look at all that space that I'm going to save. Perfect. So now I can make her a little bit bigger. Make her stand on the floor. Move her back a little bit. I don't like that she's pointing at a window. Or, I mean, you can keep her looking at a window. I want to insert like a smart board or a whiteboard or something. Insert. I'm clicking on and then search the web. And this is safe to use. We're allowed to use these pictures. We don't have to worry about copyrights. So this is a nice board, but it's I don't like the way it's slanted. I can't really write text in it. So I'm going to select another one. This one looks better. So let's insert this one in and delete the old one. Okay, so don't worry about the stuff that's on the board. We're going to take care of this. Let's just adjust the size. And in order to take care of this, I'm going to click on that insert text and I'm going to be making it as big as the screen. And to erase this, this is the trick. You're going to click on that bucket and you're going to select white. So now I have a nice white board that I can write whatever text that I want to write on. Yeah, so that's it. That's how you insert your 3D Bitmoji into Google Slides and make it come to life. I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching. Bye now.